This beer claims to be effing awesome. Four bucks for 16%. I have my doubts. Hey, welcome back. It's Brain Muffin with a beer review. And here we have from the brewery whose name I cannot pronounce. Uh, it's Ren Kusche, I don't know. R-I-N-K-U-S with something over it. K-I-A-I. Um, I have rated a beer from them before. They're considered a microbrewery in Lithuania. And, I, you know, former Soviet uh, satellite state, right? So, uh, but they do have a very interesting, hopefully we don't get a strike here on YouTube, um, but awesome is right over the bad part, so I think everything is covered. I saw this, uh, the ratings on Untapped is 1,200 reviews, 2.84 uh, is the average, so I'm not really, again, not excited. But it was like four bucks, and I had just for the novelty and the silliness of it, I had to get one to review. Now, I also don't know how well this stuff transports. I don't know how long it's been in the bottle. Um, and I think we do have some yeast sediment. Looks like it's a gold. It says Imperial Lager is the style. Uh, one pint, um, 0.9 fluid ounces. So I imagine it's some like 300 milliliters or something, or 250 milliliters. Would be my guess. Uh, naturally fermented and. Um, this woman is supposedly, I guess she's supposed to be smoking a cigar, and uh, she looks well equipped. Let's find out. Well, it smells kind of beerish. So far, it doesn't, you know, it's it's uh, it's a Lithuanian uh, craft beer a brewer. So, uh, looks like artificial carbonation. Lots of caramely smells coming forward. You can really smell the alcohol, but uh, nice golden color. Remember, this glass has a slight bluish tint to it, and it's um, not a bad smell for a, a cheap, boozy beer. So let's find out. Very sweet. And very boozy. Wow. Oh my. This is like an early try of homebrew where you really try to boost the uh, alcohol. Holy cow. Lots of alcohol warming, 16%. Not sure what yeast they're using, but it really tastes like they've got a lot of unfermented sugars in there. Um, wow, that is very, very sweet. I'm wondering what they're using. I, mean, I don't have any information on the bottle about this, and there's. Eh, Maybe a tiny bit of residue. It, the carbonation is looking to me like it's a bright tank and it's pretty much gone already. Um, this is a little, it's a lager, so I poured it colder. It's been sitting out while I was getting ready. But that is not bad for $4.16%. Gimmicky uh, title and everything aside, um, I don't know how to rate this beer. Because if I rate it in kind of the gimmicky style, kind of homebrew spiking, this is actually probably about a four. It's not bad. It's not, I mean, I like this better than the other beer that I had of theirs. Lots of caramel malty notes on, on the nose. There's a lingering sweetness. So it almost feels like they put, they, let's bump it to 20 and see how close we get. Even on the taste, there's carameliness. Um, I won't say honey. There is a sweetness that I'm almost like it's almost like a hint of molasses. It's kind of lingering there, just kind of a little bit, kind of a light molasses, um, not a black strap molasses, but just kind of a, a light molasses flavor. But yeah, I mean, if you were expecting, uh, you know, what you consider a lager, a yellow beer, typically is what most people have in mind. This is nowhere close. So it's probably a lager by yeast uh, in that it's a bottom fermenting yeast, but that's only a guess. Man, I mean, it is boozy. I mean, this tastes like, like I said, like somebody's homebrew that's got good at about 8% and they said, let's just double everything and see how far we can go. Um, it's nothing to really write home about as far as beers are concerned. I've poured out beers that taste worse than, uh, better than this. 
but they were supposed to be better. I mean, this really feels like a cheap, gimmicky beer, and it's actually not bad in that context. Um, I mean, you've got a label like this. I mean, it is gimmicky and silly, a um, bit sophomoric and juvenile. At least that's what I think they're going for. Um, if they're not and they're trying to be serious, this is bad. I mean, if it was supposed to be a serious, serious beer, this is horrible. But if it's a you know, silly beer, not bad. Um, they might want to put some hops in it, though. That would be nice. This with a citrusy hop would probably be better. Um, and it's probably supposed to be consumed cold. But it does have nice, it does have a nice aroma, a nice caramely smell, and man, is it boozy. I mean, it you really feel. So I think they use a fast yeast. So it's probably really technically a top fermenting yeast and probably not really a lager yeast, but eh, 16%, four bucks. So I'm going, I'm going to go against convention on untapped, and I'm going to rate it in the silliness factor, and I'm going to leave a note. Super silly beer. And I'm giving it a four. But only in light of that. Now, if I was to rate it against serious beers, this is a two and a half, maybe a two. And so I think it's earned its 2.8. So it, but it's pushing for a three. So some people out there like this stuff. Um, and I can really feel the, uh, the alcohol already starting to take effect. But my goodness, partially filtered, uh, bottle conditioned. Um, yeah, it, the bottle conditioning, I guess. But those, I mean, the bubbles just seem like they're artificial to me, but maybe not. And, uh, but it's hard to get carbonation naturally conditioned at 16%. I had a barley wine several years ago that ended at 13% and still had unfermentable sugars. And it had almost no head whatsoever. It was kind of like this, but it tasted a lot better. But, um. Uh, so, a four on the silliness scale, a two and a quarter on the serious scale. Take your pick of the number, and we'll see. So, have you tried F and Awesome? Are you, are you tempted to try it now? Uh, is it better fresh over in Lithuania? Uh, that's another thing. This has traveled all the way across the, you know, the, to the United States. So, who knows if this stuff was better uh, a month ago when it was first made, or two months? Or there's no date, so I have no idea. For all I know, this stuff's been sitting on the shelf a year and a half. Um, and it's not a beer that's going to age, even with that high alcohol content. There's not no complex flavors that are going to tone down. So, all right, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like, and we will see you. Goodbye. Yeah, I think we need to aim it more this way and turn everything off. in here. None of my friends. <laughs>